China shows what a joke this guy is. He thinks he's an emperor, and I think Name Wee points that out in People of the Dragon, his latest single. The guy with the Winnie the Pooh, I think, is meant to be Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping thinks he's the emperor. I'm not going to be able to go to China after this. <laughs> Have you got any plans to go? Yeah, I was going to go with my mate Terry. Me and Terry were going to go and play some public pianos in China, but I've been advised that it might not be good to go at the moment. I'm not so sure I, Terry would be I, up for that. I, I, I wanted to go to, to do a public piano in China, but I've been advised that it might not be advisable at the moment, so I'm giving it a rest. I'd like to go to Taiwan though. Name we? Name we either come over here, come over here to London, write a song about the incident, and we'll, I'll, I'll break it to the Western audiences, okay? Name we, you need to come over here because you, I know you're big in Taiwan and Hong Kong, but not too many people over in the UK know you. So what you need to do is write a song about the incident. Um, I'll come, I'll do part in the song, you do your thing, come over here and we'll break you to, the, to, to an English audience, you know, because you need to be known over here in the UK. And this is a fantastic opportunity to write about this incident, come over here, do a video, and we'll make you big in England, all right? That's the name we, all right, and his manager. Come over here, it's worth it. Spend a few thousand pounds, come over here, we'll do a video, and I'll put it on my channel. We'll break you to the Western audiences, because you need to, you are brilliant. Name we, you are absolutely brilliant. Your stuff is brilliant, your production is brilliant. I love your style, I love the symbolism, the intricacy and the hard work that goes into his productions is mind-blowing. I mean, he is a true pop star. He embarrasses Western pop stars. He is a true pop star, a true musician, in that uh, his stuff is witty, it's well put together, the songs are brilliant, um, and he's a fun guy. Name, we get your ass over here. What do you think uh, you share with Name in common? What? We don't like the little pinks. <laughs> we don't like the little pinks, definitely. Um, You're both quite humorous. We're, as well. We both have a very great sense of humor. A uh, great sense of humor. We don't like the little pinks. Um, I love the way he pokes fun at the CCP in his video. I think it's brilliant. Humor, the use of humor to undermine the CCP is fantastic. It, it beats political, it's almost like better than political action because by making, showing, showing the world what these people are, just idiots. They think they're the emperor. You know, they think they're, they're absolute morons, these people. And the little pinks are just poor brainwashed wussies. You know, I don't even respect them. I can, I can respect a card-carrying communist who really, really believes in what he's doing. These people don't believe in what they're doing at all. They just want all the fruits of Western democracy and they want to be a communist at the same time when it suits them. So I think, I think our humour, our music, our, 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 we don't like the little pinks and we don't like Xi Jinping and we think people should be free. We think Taiwan should be left alone. We think, we think this whole, the whole CCP needs to go and China needs to be free again, all right? Stop telling people what to do and stop brainwashing the people. Um, let China communicate with the outside world. Get down the great firewall of China that stops people accessing the Western internet and let people be free. The problem is when you're in a prison, sometimes you don't know you're in a prison. That's, I think, the, that's what I would say about the, the common Chinese people. They're in a prison, but they don't realize they're in a prison.